All right, you guys. So today we're going to get a look at our Andor, the series Imperial Officer Dark Times, as well as our Cassian Andor Aldani mission figure in the Black Series 6 inch line, guys. So uh, really, really cool. Very excited to have both of these figures in my collection. I just picked them up just a few days ago from Walmart. Uh, they got shipped over next day. Uh, so I was able to get this review in over the Labor Day weekend. So let's go ahead and get started with a look at our two boxes. So getting you a look at our boxes, we have our Black Series logo at the top. We have our figures in the window as opposed to the, the, the photography art. Uh, that we get on the uh, newer boxes uh, and then of course you have your star wars and or banner uh imperial officer dark times for your imperial officer and then cassian and or for the aldani mission figures so really really cool stuff very nice for the front of your box let's get a look at the side panels for both of our boxes so getting you a look at our figures as they appear on the side panel of the boxes is some really cool stuff uh again you have your Cassian Andor in the Imperial outfit, which is really, really nice. Very cool with the Imperial uh, background there. Uh, and then, of course, you have your Imperial officer. Uh, very nice with, uh, of course, the uh, shoulder armor of a Stormtrooper, obviously, uh, would be the number three figure in the line. I'm not sure if I have that figure or not. I've picked up a couple of these Andor figures already, uh, but I do not believe... Uh, I have a Stormtrooper uh, from, at least from Andor, uh, anyway. So uh, really, really cool stuff. Very nice side panels for both of your figures. And then for the back of your box, you have both of your figures. Number one for your Cassian Andor figure. And then number two for your Imperial Officer Dark Time. So really, really cool stuff. And then, of course, you have your blurbs on both of your characters and all of your other readables at the bottom. For your Cassian Andor Aldani mission figure, the description reads, In an era filled with danger, deception, and intrigue, Cassian Andor embarks on a path that will turn him into the rebel hero who he will challenge the evil galactic empire. And then uh, ironically, and I don't even know if there is, if this is a uh, variant, um, it could possibly be a variant. I have to check this out, but for your Imperial officer, it actually has the same description uh, as it does for your Cassian uh, and or Aldani mission figure. So uh, that's really interesting. I have to look at some of the other figures in the Andor line um, because uh, that's really interesting that uh, they have the, that uh, these two characters have the same description. So really, really interesting uh, aspect there of the uh, description on both of these characters being the same. And then, of course, now we are back around to the front. So, guys, we're going to pull these figures out of the box. We're going to get a look at the articulation, the detail, and then, of course, we're going to get our figures in a very cool diorama. So, please do stay tuned. All right, you guys. So, we have our figures out of the box and first impressions out of the box. Uh, I love uh, Cassian Andor. I think he's great. I haven't seen any issues to this particular point with that particular figure. Uh, and then, of course, the Imperial Officer, uh, great looking figure. I think he looks absolutely awesome. One thing I noticed right off the bat is he does not have a holster for his pistol, uh, which is very disappointing. I don't know why Hasbro continues to have figures that have a holster and then certain figures that should have a holster do not have a holster. This is an Imperial officer. He's not going to always carry his weapon out in the open. He most definitely will have it on his hip uh, for the most part. Uh, so uh, it is unfortunate uh, that they keep missing the mark uh, with certain figures and uh, missing key little details as uh, providing you with a holster for the weapon that comes with the figure. So uh, if there is a gripe 
uh, with any of these figures right off the bat, it is most definitely the fact that the Imperial officer does not have a holster uh, for his pistol. So, um, guys, let's go ahead and get you a closer look at the figures. Starting with your Cassian Andor figure, let's get you a look at your Cassian Andor figure. So, getting you a closer look at your Cassian Andor Aldani figure. Like I said, out of the box, it looks really nice. Very cool. Love the detail. Love the uniform. It looks absolutely great. The black armor over the green. A holster on the side. Thank you, Hasbro, for that. He has the black hair with the brown beard, which is interesting. Uh, the hat, which I do not believe is removable. Uh, the boots. It looks like some of this is reused parts from the Solo, from the Solo Imperial figure, from the Solo movie. Um, but uh, you do, of course, have the very, very cool head scope and imperial hat with your andor figure very very nice looking figure so since it seems that there are a lot of reused parts here for your andor figure uh as i mentioned it looks like uh the majority of it would be the solo imperial soldier figure from the solo movie uh, i'm not sure if the chest armor is the same as specifically the back uh that might be a little different but uh, other than that, I think it's, uh, as far as parts are concerned, uh, I think it's basically the same figure. And then as for your weapon, you have your standard issue weapon, uh, just a matte black, uh, some very cool texture and detail, but uh, no other additional paint apps to make the gun stand out. So uh, getting you a look at your Imperial officer, Dark Times, very, very nice. I, I, I've been waiting for this figure ever since it was announced um, because he's just a different Imperial. He's got the cape. It's very cool. Uh, I would prefer a soft goods cape, but it is uh, yet and still very, very cool. I just love the cape. And of course, if it was a soft goods, you wouldn't be able to get the little wrinkles and whatnot in it. It would just not drape on him as it does here, but I think it does work. It's very cool. Again, there is no holster. Um, I checked, I looked in the back on both sides. Uh, there is nowhere for weapon storage for this guy, which is very, very disappointing. I think your problem areas as far as articulation is concerned is gonna be with the cape and the arms, uh, obviously. Um, he can only raise his arms up about that high and he's definitely not going to give you any sort of T-pose because of the restraints of the cape. Uh, the cape is removable. I believe if you remove the head and, um, you remove this top part of the pauldron, um, it will remove the cape and, uh, you'll still have the black officer's, uh, uniform on the top. But, uh, again, with this figure, I do not believe the hat is removable, uh, for this figure, uh, as well. And then as far as weapons go, he does come with the same weapon that Andor comes. Same exact weapon, no paint apps, just a matte black. Uh, but again, uh, there is nowhere to store this weapon uh, when he's not uh, engaged in any kind of battle. Um, if he's just giving orders or uh, whatever it is that his function is within the Empire other than shooting at rebels, uh, he is not going to have any storage for this weapon, unfortunately. All right, you guys. So uh, again, I was going to forego the articulation with the Imperial officer. I think there are, uh, again, a lot of reused parts, but uh, with the addition of the cape and the pauldron, there are uh, some articulation issues where you, uh, again, will not get that T-pose uh, and the arms uh, going all the way up is somewhat limited or restricted uh, to a certain extent. But uh, other than that, uh, it is a very, very nice figure, and I do uh, think it's very, very cool. He's going to look great uh, with your other Imperial officers and Stormtroopers. Uh, so, uh, again, it is a much-needed figure in the line, and again, it is a, a different-looking Imperial to add uh, amongst your ranks of other Imperial figures. So, uh, again, I do really 
uh, think he is an absolutely awesome figure other than the uh, slight uh, gripes and issues that I have uh, with this particular figure. Now what we're going to do is get you a comparison of the other Cassian and or figures that we've received that all right you guys so getting you a comparison of all four versions of and or figure that we've received in the black series line and i believe there may have been a updated release for this figure with the better head the re-release of the rogue one figures uh may have featured a better uh head sculpt with that uh same uniform uh, that is a figure that I have not picked up. So uh, if you're wondering why I'm sporting uh, the original, uh, more bland look uh, of that particular figure, that's the reason why, because I, I did not get that uh, re-release of the Rogue One Andor figure. So again, this is a look at all of the Andor figures that I have in my collection, six inch Black Series line. Uh, very cool. I'm glad to add this additional Aldani figure to my collection uh, to go along with the other Andor figures that I have. Uh, I think they're very, very impressive, uh, specifically the last two Andor figures that we received from the series. Uh, I just think the uh, look is absolutely awesome. Diego Luna, uh, so some really, really cool stuff uh, with your Cassian Andor figures, guys. Really, really nice stuff. All right, you guys, so we're going to get our figures in a really cool diorama, so please do stay tuned. you guys and there you have your Cassian and or Aldani figure with your Imperial Officer Dark Times figure in the Black Series inch line very 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 nice figures here uh, just some minor gripes specifically with the Imperial Officer the lack of a holster uh, is a little disappointing uh, and then of course the uh, articulation with the cape uh, does limit the arm movement a little bit, but that's to be expected, of course, when you get a sculpted uh, cape as opposed to the soft goods cape. Uh, but I understand why they uh, like to go with the molded cape because you can uh, add the little wrinkles and, and, and whatnot, a little more texture and detail uh, to it as opposed to just getting a soft goods cape that uh, just lays on the character. But uh, I prefer the soft goods because you can actually pose that uh, so, uh, just some minor gripes uh, with the Imperial Officer figure, but I do like him. I think he's absolutely great. I think he'll go good with the rest of your Imperial contingency, stormtroopers, other Imperial officers. Uh, just uh, really, really excited uh, to have these two guys in my collection. And of course, your Andor figure. Uh, I hope to get more of the Aldani Rebels. Uh, it would be nice to get 
a couple of more of those guys. I know that Vale has already been introduced in the line, but I have yet to get that particular figure. So I do look forward to uh, picking her up as well in the six inch line. I do have her in a three and a quarter size line, uh, but I do not have her six inch line. And I look forward to getting that figure as well to go with my and or Aldani figure, guys. So uh, again, I really enjoy both of these figures. Glad to have them in my collection, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in regards to these two figures. Have you picked them up and have you added them to your collection? Let me know and put those comments down below. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father to the son to the OB-1 Force Ghost, may the force be with you always.